Antihistone Antibodies, Wikipedia Article Audio Antihistone antibodies are autoantibodies that are a subset of the antinuclear antibody family, which specifically target histone protein subunits or histone complexes. They were first reported by Henry Kunkel, H.R. Holman, and H.R.G. Driescher in their studies of cellular causes of lupus erythematosus in 1959-60. Today, antihistone antibodies are still used as a marker for systemic lupus erythematosus, but are also implicated in other autoimmune diseases like Sjogren's syndrome, dermatomyositis, or rheumatoid arthritis. Antihistone antibodies target five major classes of histone protein subunits, H1, H2A, H2B, H3, and H4. Antihistone antibodies are diverse, so aside from targeting the protein subunits, different antibodies may also be specific for different complexes, including the H2A H2B dimer or the H3 H4 tetramer. There is evidence that IgG and IgM antihistone antibodies produced as a result of different drug exposures are specific to epitopes of different histone complexes. Highly modified histones have been shown to prompt a greater immune response. Specificity Detecting antibodies Antihistone antibodies can be clinically detected using an ELISA assay. A blood sample is required for the test. Indirect immunofluorescence can also be used to detect antihistone antibodies. Homogeneous Diffuse staining indicates the presence of antihistone antibodies, chromatin, and some double-stranded DNA. 96% of patients with lupus induced by procainamide will have a positive test for antihistone antibodies, and 100% of patients whose lupus was induced by penicillamine, isoniazid, or methyl dopa will have a positive test for antihistone antibodies. In 70% of patients with rheumatoid arthritis, Feltes syndrome, Sjogren's syndrome, systemic sclerosis, and primary biliary cirrhosis, antihistone antibodies are present. Antihistone antibodies may also be present in Alzheimer's and dementia patients. A value of greater than 1.5 units relative to a control serum is considered a positive ELISA test for the antihistone antibodies. Patients with drug-induced lupus erythematosus typically have positive tests for antihistone antibodies but do not have indications for antihistone antibodies. Patients with idiopathic systemic lupus erythematosus have both types of autoantibodies present in their blood. Thus, this test can be useful in distinguishing these two illnesses. Implications in disease 